You get so much more energy and so much more peace because the stress will go out of your body. You say that everyone would benefit from taking a cold shower every day. Why is the cold so powerful? The cold, uh, without a doubt, very directly, very effectively, very strongly, uh, is able to tackle our, uh, the biggest health problem in the world, which is the cardiovascular related diseases. And uh, we have a, 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 this, the, the organ, uh, which is called uh, our skin, and we never expose it to natural elements. And it is built to be able to, to, be, uh, uh, to be stimulated. The electroreceptors, thermal receptors, they are all in the surface of our skin that directly goes when we take a cold shower, like an electrical jolt through our spine to our, uh, the deepest part of our brain, the brain stem. It's being alive. Oh, oh yeah, the shocking experience that you are surviving. That is a great way to not only give a jolt, to uh, say an electroshock uh, to your brain. For the people who are into depression, this is great. You just take the cold shower and your uh, uh, depression is going to be depressed. So that, that is one. The other thing is uh, we got, uh, all of us, we have 100,000 kilometers, like uh, 70,000 miles of vascular little channels, capillaries, arteries, and veins. Hundred more, like 100,000 kilometers. That is a lot. That is like two and a half times the world is in each and every one of us. They contain millions of little muscles and they help the blood flow going through, but not if it is in a condition after we have lived been living with clothes all the time, which is a destimulative behavior and which makes the muscle tone go low. And who has got to compensate for that? That is our heart. Our heart is pumping more than it should. It's pumping more because it tries to get the blood flow full of oxygen, the nutrients and the vitamins to the cells. And it is not able to do that. You weaken yourself because you are in stress. And that stress uh, that uh, uh, creates oxidative uh, stress uh, uh, through uh, the continuous presence of cortisol. And that is when the heart rate goes up, that is normally done when there is danger to pump the glucose through the body. And the adrenaline, that is when there is danger. Now it is danger because we have a weak condition within our vascular system. Maybe not when you are young still, but when you are 30, 35, 40, it begins really to wear out. A cold shower stimulates all the vascular uh, muscle tone, and uh, thus the blood flow will go better to the cells. Heart rate goes down with 20 to 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day, and the energy is being fed the energy processes, the metabolic uh, uh, mitochondrial processes are being fed with all the oxygen, nutrients, vitamins, all what is needed, you get plenty of energy. So when you take a cold shower a day, it does not only keep the doctor away as a saying, also the doctor is doing it. And uh, it, because it is great, it's like a va vaccination, a natural vaccination where you make your body the way nature meant it to be, with a great blood flow, which doesn't know inhibition, fears, blockages, sclerosis, or anything like that, because it's flowing. There is no cortisol, no oxidative stress going on. This is the way nature meant it to be. Everybody in the world should take the damn beautiful cold shower a day. It is not difficult. And the investment is by far the outcome. You get so much more energy 
and so much more peace because the stress will go out of your body. So people who feel inspired to go, okay, all right, Wim, I'm going to try and have a cold shower. What is the minimum amount of time they need? What is the temperature they need it to be? And is there a difference if they're tensed or whether they're relaxed and slow breathing? Exactly. So first of all, know that everybody is uh, capacitated by nature, by birthright, to go into this stressful uh, natural environment called the cold. So a cold shower is cold. A cold shower you are able to take on any, any day. That, that's the first one to know. Now, if, you're, if you are in a vascular condition which has been alienated from going into the cold stress ever, then of course you have to take it step by step. But it goes very fast. You begin with a, a, a hot shower and then you get into the last 30 seconds of cold. Turn it to cold and then your, uh, uh, your vascular system is very well able to, in this case, passively, because you got into the heat of the hot shower, then pa it works like a sauna and then go, you have a cold dip. It's passive because you got a lot of heat and so you are able to lose a lot of heat passively through taking on the cold shower. But 30 seconds to begin with, is activating, igniting the memory cells uh, within you, the genome expressions in the cell to adapt to the situation. That's uh, uh, the way the DNA works. So in 30 seconds, it's able to be activated to give this spark of neur uh, neural activity that, uh, uh, that uh, initiates a different neural activity that uh, directly influences into the vascular system. The vascular system and the neuro uh, neurology are uh, tied together and uh, they know how to act. And in the uh, 30 seconds, uh, to begin with, anybody can do that. And from 30 seconds, the other day you do 40 seconds, 50 seconds, up to two minutes. In 10 days, everybody is able to take for two minutes a cold shower, two, three minutes. And uh, at that point, you are back at your natural condition of your vascular system is when you are able to get into, say, natural bodies of water, like in the UK, in wintertime. And, and, and we are, in the end, mammals, guys. And it's great to feel the mammal inside because it's very powerful. You know that mammals are very powerful in weather, they sleep outside in rain and the cold and this and that. See how far we got away from that. Yeah. So once a day, getting into a cold shower, everybody is able to do. And with that, uh, it's, it, it, the outcome is tremendous. It's, many books can be written just on the outcome of what a cold shower is doing. Physically, mentally, uh, astrally, uh, uh, spiritually, uh, 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 emotionally, it's all different bodies at work because it all relates to a great blood flow. The transportation of ours, the vascular system is being uptoned through the cold shower. Do they then need to do anything with their breath? Or, you know, is, is there something people should be trying to do? Or they just need to tolerate the cold for as long as they can? What, yeah, what is, do, what is, don't cramp up, follow the breath. Don't cramp up, don't co no contraction of uh, your muscles. You can, what, uh, what do you do uh, is when you uh, really feel cold, and I, it's not cold right now, guys. The cold shower is good, it's thermogenesis. You are exercising the vascular system when you take a cold shower now. That is great. But in winter, you're going to meet your true self within the elements of nature. And that is a great experience. And that, for that, we condition our vascular system and it always goes through long out breaths this is the way you go into the cold shower and then the body is able not to get into panic not into paranoia no it's able to adapt 
The thermogenesis is able to do what the body is able to do. If you do this, <laughs> then the body is not able to do what the body is able to do. If all you do, right, is take a cold shower each day and you do nothing with your breath, right? Even that, I'm guessing, will have some benefit, but the benefit is magnified if you also do the breathing. Is that right? Absolutely, absolutely. It, 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 here comes in the power of the mind. Because once you learn to control your breath, going into the cold shower, you enter into changing, a, 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 a getting a hold on the stress upon the body through holding your breath to stay on with the breath. And with that, you only, it's the beginning of getting into the stress mechanisms inside the brain. Wow. And then the unlocking of the potential to neurologically control the stress mechanisms of your brain is beginning. And it can go very fast. It can go very fast that you learn to control what you could not control in the past which then created fear instead of confidence. Now you will learn to have confidence because your brain now is able to be uh, entered into the stress mechanisms to activate it whenever you need it. It's like instead of uh, uh, being helpless, suddenly you have a gun in your hand. You are powerful. You are powerful against the stressor coming in. I'm, I, I, I'm not into war, guys, uh, and, uh, uh, I'm not a cowboy. I'm into peace. And bringing peace is bringing a true confidence that you are able to, uh, uh, to uh, confront yourself with any kind of stress. Really hope you enjoyed that conversation. Please do think about one thing that you can take and apply into your life. Inspiration is not enough, you need to take action. If you did enjoy that, please do press subscribe, hit that notification bell, and why not check out this conversation that I picked out that acts as the perfect follow-up.